He's got some little lipstick on his lip there. Right in my hands. <laughs> so today I'm at home, just getting back from Chickamauga, and man, it was a cool tournament. I had so much fun down there. That was the sixth tournament of the year. If you guys haven't watched the video from Chickamauga, you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go watch it. The links in the description box of this video. Twelfth and AOY stand is going into the last tournament of the year. So if you haven't already been checking out. My new website, shopbelat.com. You know, I've got my signature finesse kits right here. I got my signature finesse kit on my website that you guys can buy. You know, I do a lot of finesse fishing at home. And what I've got in this package here is a few of the baits that I use all the time fishing around home. Fish on it. This is stuff I actually fish, folks. I use this. Like, the whole purpose of this, you guys always ask me, what to use, what to use, what to do for this situation, that situation. I got everything that I use the most. Not everything that I use, but what I use the most right there in the B-Lat finesse kit. Well, I use another bait in my finesse kit here. This one right here, the fatties. So I'll show you my, my fatties here. Show you my fatties. That doesn't even sound right saying that. Another guy showing another guy's fatties. But... Here's the fatties right here that comes in my finesse kit. It comes with this binder. Everything you're about to see comes in the binder. It comes with the fatties, the hula stick, the new bang sticks. I don't even know where you can get the bang sticks besides my website right now. The new bang sticks and also a little small swim bait. This is the Slim Swims. It's more like a Ned Rig style swim bait. But in this particular video, I'm using the fatties and i'll give you everything in the kit that you need to fish it this is the z-man fatties a five inch stick bait but it's it's just a lot it's just got a lot more curve appeal it's like it's like it's just pretty it's a pretty stick bait it comes with the jig head you use the power finesse room jig head i've actually been using this particular kit right here so i don't even have any more power finesse rooms heads i got one more left it's how you rig the Power finesse rooms on the Z-Man fatties. This is super complicated, watch it. This is a one fifth ounce jig head. You can see it has a little keeper right here on the back. Works perfect for uh, Z-Man plastic. But I Texas rig mine. All I do is I take it right here, flip it in the back. I'm gonna be coming outside the black part is what I like to do anyway. So the flat part right here, put it in, hook comes out. I'm gonna pull it up. I like to twist it around before it gets over the bar, is what I prefer, so you don't waller out your plastic more. And then I just put it right there in the hook pocket, and that thing sets just really nice and streamlined. That little dude is a fish catching guy. For some reason, spotted bass like little fat, chunky baits in the springtime, and this little fat, chunky sucker is just, just perfect. I like this hook because it's a little bit shorter than most shaky head hooks, so this lets this do a lot more you know twerking and stuff so that's how i rig this bait you'll notice it doesn't come down off the head after you catch a couple fish if you really want to secure this bait to the head one thing you could do is put a dot of super glue right there on the head of that that dude the freaking hook will rust out before the plastic comes down off of it you either have to break it off or something like that you know a, a hook into a beaver before you lose it so that's how you rig the Z-Man Fatties 5-inch stick bait on the Power Finesse Room's head. Dude, that thing just catches a bunch of fish. Watch how I'm about to catch up in this video. No. You okay? Just throw, get that bass in this boat. Well, I'm doing video this time and not photos, so I hope you're not counting on me for photos. Take him to the back, Gene, for... Get him in the back. Make him jump. Yeah, that's a gooder one, huh? I knew it had to be one somewhere around here, right? I think I hit him in the head and scared him. Oh, I got too much line in your way, you think? I think it's gonna be okay. That's a good spot. I can help you with it or whatever you wanna do. You're filming. That's a good spot. Oh, boy. Look at that. 
Spotted jaws. What I love about spotted bass is they always feel two or three pounds heavier than they really are. Than they really are. When so he was way out fun. there, he was about five pounds, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, they're so much fun to catch. He's been caught before a couple times. Yeah. A lot of release fish right here yeah. at the ramp. Good dude. Here's a good one right there, guys. That's a big one. Not on that dark spot. Yep. As soon as it hit the water, dude. I thought it was gonna be a jet. Well, it is a pretty good, a good one. one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one's on bed. He got shoulders. He's about to act crazy now. Yep. Dude, look at that line. Pick up his what is the spotted bass doing jumping like that? <laughs> Dude, that's actually a pretty good one. I'm gonna keep that one for a picture. That's a pretty good one. On the old foddies. On the bed, spitting up shad, right? One thing I do like about using straight floor carving is you always feel, you got good confidence when they start surging like that. Anytime you got a knot, that's always gonna be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good one, y'all. Oh, wow. I didn't, I knew it felt good when I first set the hook on him, but that's a, that's a solid one. Let me grab you behind the head. Come here. Yep. It's my favorite way to fish for these things. It's time to use the fishing dark spots. Ah, that's a pretty one. He's got some little lipstick on his lip there. Look at that. Yeah. A little lipstick, right? That had to get pretty. You want to get a, a... I need a get better for you to make that picture chain or um i guess i need to get on that side it looks like don't it i like behind you and especially yeah. fish's fins you can make them glow i got you i guess he's not that big but i think i do that's the best spotted bass that i've caught today yeah that's my my partner loves to bring it to the sun you might be looking to get that out for you gene got a good Bring that big old van up in these bass Dude, I've taken a thousand pictures with my GoPro. It's been on picture the whole time. Unbelievable. Shoot! <laughs> I need hand sanitizer after that one. That's a little bit of blue black herring. We got what color is that gonna be, Shay? <laughs> That's a good color. Fish vomit. Yeah, fish vomit. <clears throat> I tell you what, I have I have starting to kind of had a renaissance with throwing straight floor carbon on my spinning rods again. Mm for just for certain stuff in certain situations. And today is definitely one of those, when it's windy, dude, it handles better yeah. in the wind. Oh, yeah, it's heavier, yeah. you know? That's why you see me tending mine and slapping it on the water. Yeah, I like it better. Yeah, there's one. Dude, that might be a good one. Oh, that's actually a really good one, I think. No, it ain't a tree. God, dude, he was like dogging me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> same one? Yeah, same one. <laughs> The same one Shay said the hookah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a pretty decent one at first. I set the hook and it was just like eh. yeah. Yeah, man. I thought that was a good one at first. Look, he's got shad in his mouth too. Back here in the pocket. It's just you see way back in there. Yeah. 
These are eating shad today. And then they see a brown worm come by and they're like, oh yeah, I'll eat, I'll have that. The eight pounder once my cameraman looked at me and said, where in the hell did that net come? Oh, come it's from? so fast. This comes out from nowhere. Thank you. All right. Where is it at, Shay? Oh, I got a big one this time, dude. I got a real good one. You got a rock? Yeah, I got a real one. That's gonna be a real big one. No, I ain't that big. Yeah, it's just spot. He was going sideways, so it just felt heavy. And you know how they run sideways with their mouth open? <laughs> this just got all the water going through us. Like, be aerodynamic, please. You're on that point. freaking walleye. You don't want that. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walleye. Walleye or them pickerel? Yeah. No, to a walleye, northern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come in like wet socks. They don't do any no, kind of wobbling. Look at the hair in there. Uh, I like to grab them like a sandwich like that. <laughs> I was out there a little bit farther, right, right around where you can't see the bottom, I guess you'd say. That's a pretty little spotted bass. Yeah, I'll take those guys. It's fun, nothing else. Here we go, I got one. Oh, oh God, y'all. Got a man? This one could be almost two pounds. I think it is a better one, seriously. He's about to act up now. It is a good one. That big old large mouth. Large mouth. Oh, drag puller, can you say? <laughs> oh, he came to the boat pretty easy, and now he's like, uh, let me get away from this guy. <laughs> Oh, isn't it amazing what happens when you just sit there for a minute? I caught that on one of the base of my finesse kit that I made up. The old fatties. The z man fatties. A large head come to the party. It's real windy out here, so I went to uh, straight floor carbon because it's a little easier to control in the wind. Trade places with you here, Gene. And you can feel it a little bit better when it's windy like this. A large mouth come to the party. Yeah. Out here in the main lake, dude. Large mouth are hard to hard to live out here in the main lake because there's so many big spotted bass. They have a hard time. Right in my hands. <laughs> right in my hands, buddy. That's a good one. You're on the old fatties. Fatties, as I like to call it. Fatties. It's French. <laughs> French fatties. Let's take that guy. Oh, he was pegged. I don't know what kind of hook is in that power finish room's head, but it's a pretty daggum. Good look, I got, so I got that thing in there. Yeah. We got two new ones. Yeah. Got some so, quality good yeah, girls in there. I got that one and there's that. There's one big one over here. Yeah. We need one more for a hero shot, Gene. Yeah. I, I think you're about to. There he is. That's a good one, I think, boys. That's a big one. Dude, that might be the best one today. No, nope, he's a good one, though. Spot. Spot that time. He was just digging real hard. It's not the best one today, but I don't mind telling y'all that. When you lift that giant you. Man, I need you. I need. I'm gonna need some help with this one. I'm gonna need some help. I know you have to so you get used to using a knife. Yeah, don't use. The, oh, I love hearing that one. Well, get have to bear with them FLW boys. They don't know how to land, hand land them. 
they'll get there. They have to think of them as triple A. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that, seen that so many times on Facebook posts and stuff. It takes an extra skill to hand land one. That is a pretty one. Watch me do it in a kayak. I Hey guys, so if you want to get some of the baits that uh, that you saw in this video, check out my finesse kit at shopbelat.com. Links in the description box. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. Hey, I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos this week because I'm at home finally. We get a break from the FLW tour, so now I can start uploading a little bit more regularly, having a lot more content for you guys. So let me know how you like the bait. What do you think about the Z-Man Fatties? I know a lot of you guys have already ordered the kits. Let me know. Tag me in your, your pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Let me know you got your kids, how you're liking it. Um, show me your fish pitch, uh, fish pitch catchers. Show me your fish pitch catchers. Show me your fish catch pictures is what I was trying to say there. I don't even know if I could say that again, but that was pretty cool. Peace. See you.